So the, the topic of this health nugget is putting it all together. All right, next slide. So I'm sure that you're familiar with New Start, right? Nutrition, exercise, water. I mean, all of us know that, right? Sunlight, temp. We, do we know that? Come on, who's, who's, been, who's familiar with New Start? Right? Yes. And we found that these are uh, our eight strategies that we can adapt and it will um, greatly improve our health, right? Um, the, that was from Weimar Institute in 1978. The conference, next slide, exploded it even further in 2012 where they came up with the acronym celebrations, all right? So choices, exercise, liquid, environment, belief, rest, air, temperance, integrity, optimism, nutrition, social support. Because we realize that it's not just about the physical of the what you eat and what you drink, but it now also has to do with your attitudes, your behaviors, your community support, and all of these things, and all of these are related to our health, right, amen? All right, so, but the big question about, oh, so this is, this is Hillview, and you know, we, we're big on health ministries, and um, they've been in everything. This is from Marathon Bahamas. Hillview had an awesome presence there, and as well as even Seventh-day Adventist has an awesome presence there, right? Then we see the picture there from on the park where there was health screenings while we were doing the food distribution. Next slide. And uh, the Eight Weeks to Wellness program is known throughout the Bahamas, and um, people, you know, very much um, attend and, and they're blessed by the programs themselves. Um, I want to live healthy, I will go and all of these programs. But always, at some point in time, the big question comes up. Next slide. Why are we doing this? You know, and this came about, I was, I was doing a health feature in one of our churches actually, and the question came up, you know, when I told him about, you know, eating healthier and exercise and all the rest of those and stuff, someone pick up, pay, um, put their hand up and ask the question. They say, but, but I know this vegetarian and so on and so forth, you know, and they're doing all of this thing and whatever and stuff, and they still die from X or die from Y. So, so he threw that question at me and I had to take a little deep breath and I answered him. I said, so here's the question though. What is the leading cause of death? Is it heart disease? Is it stroke? Is it cancer? And even vegans die. There's a book, you know, there's a book actually called that. And they can die of these illnesses too. So the question is, why are we doing all of this? Next slide. So this was my answer to him. I told him, I said, listen, the first thing you have to understand is that the biggest cause of death is sin. Go back. So sin is the biggest cause of death. And the problem is that our world is having a sin problem. It started from Adam and Eve. And so because of that, death came with it. However, when we do lifestyle changes and stuff, are we just trying to cheat death? Next slide. So take you back to Exodus. Um, you know, and uh, this, was, this was the children of Israel coming out of Egypt. It said, if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, will do all that is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases upon you, which I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Now, this is interesting. Is that the reason why we're living healthy? Because God said, do that, and you won't get disease. If you, list, if you look at this situation and you put it into the scenario that it was, the Israelites were coming out of Egypt, coming out of a bondage for 400 and something years. They were dumbed down to the point with regards to their Christianity and their spirituality that God had to speak to them almost like you speak to babies. You brush your teeth, you won't get cavities. You don't brush your teeth, you will get cavities. So he had to speak to them like that. 
And we see the experience of the Egyptians, and I mean of the Israelites, when they came out of Egypt going through the wilderness, right? But is that the reason why we are making health changes and, and actually looking out for health principles? Next slide. How about this reason? Um, now we can say, well, the thing is, um, uh, yes, you know, God is the one who made us and he knows what we're supposed to do. So we follow his instructions and we'll be good. That's a better reason. But is that the real reason? Not necessarily. Next slide. Then there's the iniquity theory, right? Iniquities have separated between us and God. And so therefore, sin separates. So we're, but, and, and when we read the Bible, next slide, we understand, um, look at iniquities, right? Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Pride, click. Next step. Back for me. Pride, one click. Click once for me. Pride, fullness of bread and abundance of idleness, right? If you really explain that text, you realize that pride, misguided prosperity, fullness of bread, poor eating habits, overeating, and abundance of idleness, a sedentary lifestyle. These were the three things that they described as the iniquities of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? A city that the Lord burned down. Next slide. And if you look here, the thing that is circled that is causing the most premature deaths in our world today actually is from poor diets and lack of physical activity. Whoa. So that is, that is, hmm, that is serious. But is that the real reason why we're making health changes and being healthy? Next slide. So now I take you to this slide now. Romans 12, 1. We're, we're at Romans 12, 1, which it says, um, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, remember, in view of God's mercy, meaning that God has already been grateful, grace, gracious and merciful to us. We are already in a relationship with God. It tells us that we present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Now that version puts it awesome because now you have to ask yourself, hey, Hold on. You're trying to tell me that what I do with my body is actually a form of worship? Did we stop to think about that? And that may be the true reason now why we go ahead and make lifestyle changes and try to live healthy because we realize that what we're doing is a form of worship with our body temple, which is the temple of... God, next slide, almost finished. We're living in the time of the end because we know that Christ is soon to come, right? Who believes that? Huh? Yes. And we're speaking the three angels' message. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and so on and so forth, right? It says, fear God and give glory to him. So right now, we're bringing people back and bringing ourselves back to the basic principles of fearing God and give glory to him. So I conclude with this. How do you give glory to God? Whether therefore ye eat, one click, follow me please. Whether therefore ye drink and whatsoever you do, that's your eating, your drinking, and your lifestyle. Do all to the glory or the character of God. Have a blessed Sabbath and look out for next week's health nugget.